Hi, and welcome back to Easy English with Tim. The last time we were together, we were on Chapter 2, Lesson 3, Part 1, and we talked about contractions, where we move I am, and then we combine them to create a new word, I'm, and the same thing all the way down, I'm, your, he's, she's, it's, we're, your, their. So this is the combination, this is called a contraction, contraction. Now, this is something we have not talked about yet. This is the verb to have. And we can do a contraction with this verb also. Now, is all we're going to do is we're going to remove the H and the A and just have a V and an E right here, V-E, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Now, if we do not use this extra word, it is correct to both speak it and to write it. This is grammatically correct. So you can use it just like this. So instead of saying, I have a dog, you can say, I've a dog. Okay. Now, most of us who use the contraction of T of have, we're going to add this little word. It's another form of have. I've got. Okay. In other words, it's in my possession or it belongs to me. Okay. So most people will add this word onto the first part. We'll talk about this more, but just practice it like this. I've got. Okay. You've got. He's got. She's got. It's got. We've got. You've got. They've got. Okay? Both of these say the exact same thing. I have. I've got. This, you're going to hear more. You're going to use this one more because you're going to hear this one more. And then we do a little extension later on with this. Okay, so let's take a look. I can say, she has a dog, or she's got a dog. Now this word and this word are going to sound like they are combined. Combinada, okay? And it's going to sound like this, gotta. She's got a dog. You hear that? It allows us to speak faster, más rápido, faster. Okay, they, they have a car. Let's use this one. They've got a car. These two together are going to sound like this. They've got a car. They've got a car. She has a dog. She's got a dog. They have a car. They've got a car. Now, when you watch movies or television and the subtitles are in English, los subtitles son en inglés, right? You're going to see this word. You're going to see this word because that's how people speak. Doesn't matter, rich or poor, rico or pobre, we all say the same thing. Gotta. Okay? So let's practice. She's got a dog. They've got a car. Good. All right. Let's move on. So let's practice. We have a blue car. Remember that the adjective comes first and then the object. Adjective, 
object. Describe, describir, describe the object. I have a blue car. I've got a blue car. Same thing. You have a bird. You've got a bird. You hear how fast that is? Gotta. Okay. She has a headache. She has a headache. She's got a headache. I've got a blue car. You've got a bird. She's got a headache. Okay, and remember that these are all going to sound like this. Gotta and gotta. Gotta, gotta, gotta. You need to practice that because you're going to hear it all the time. Okay, four words that sound very similar. Bird, la barba, beard, beard, bird, beard, bear, beer. These two sound almost exactly the same except for this letter right there. Without that d, beer, beard. It's just a little d, beard. Beer, beard. Bird, bear. So practice those one more time. Bird, beard, beer, bear. All right. So we're going to look at the word next to. Next to. And these are going to sound like they're going to be together. Next to. Next to. Okay? So, next to. The teacher's room is next to the library. The teacher's room is next to the library. The library is next to the office. The library is next to the office. The bookstore is next to the men's room. The bookstore is next to the men's room. And it doesn't matter what order you put it in. I could take this and I have two options. Next to the library, next to the bookstore. Library bookstore. The office is next to the library. The office is next to the bookstore. Okay, let's take a practice here. So we have a new one. This word is between. 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 Okay. So the cafeteria is between the bookstore and the office. The cafeteria is between the bookstore and the office. Between. Between. In the middle. En el medio. Between. Entre. Okay. And then we have another one. Across. El otro lado. Al frente de. Right. 
So, this is the hallway, el pasillo, el corredor, right? So, the computer lab is across from Mr. Hefner's room, classroom. The computer class is across from Mr. Hefner's classroom. The bookstore is across from the testing room. The men's room is across from the women's room. This question came from one of my students. They wanted to know this word in English. Um, and it's the same spelling as in Spanish. The only thing is the pronunciation. So, die, a, g, no. Diagonal. Instead of diagonal, it's diagonal. Diagonal. Okay. Okay, a, couple, a little bit of information and then we'll stop this uh, lesson for today. We have many different th uh, ways of saying hallway or passway, uh, pasillo, right? In a house or in the school, we can call it a hallway or in the school, we can also call it a corridor, corredor, right? Corridor. In a store, in la tienda, in the store, we call this an aisle, aisle. Now with this word, the A, the S, and the E are silent, are silent. So this is actually going to sound like this in Spanish and Haitian Creole, aisle, aisle. In the movie theater or in the uh, place where you sit, the auditorium or things like that where you can walk in between chairs, this is also called an aisle with the same sound. So hallway, hallway or corridor, aisle, aisle. If it is outside and there are no walls, no tiene paredes, there's no walls, this is called a breezeway. A breeze is a wind, un viento. Breezeway, breezeway. So this is a breezeway. Hallway, breezeway, aisle. Okay, we're going to stop here today. That's a lot of information. Thank you for joining me for Chapter 2, uh, Lesson 3, Part 2. And remember, practice, practice, practice.